Hello everyone and welcome to part 7 of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Playthrough. What were you laughing at? I was just listening to something. Okay, so me and Brett were talking about video game consoles and the subject of a Wii U came up. And I was looking at getting a Wii U for Boxing Day because it'd be cheaper during that time of year as is pretty much everything. And... <clears throat> Right now it costs 300 no, yeah, $300 right now, I'm pretty sure. But Brett told me he has a friend who got this, it at a cheaper price. And what was that? This was in July of this year, 2014, just for whenever you're watching this. Oh, I hate this one. Well, that's why I'm playing it. So confused. I'm pretty sure I played... Not, I don't mind, it's just so confusing. I'm pretty sure I played every Knuckles level since we started. <laughs> It's uh, alright. Did you or... Yeah, you played Pumpkin Nail, so yeah, you probably did. But anyways, that's fine. But anyway, so, he got a Wii U Mario and Luigi Deluxe Edition, which gave me a... It was a good bundle. I forget what it was, but... It was quite a bit. And he got it for 100... Like, 150 or $170. What happened is, he went to Target, and he had a coupon... Coupon. From, uh... Nice. He had a coupon from Ontario that was doing a clearance sale. Ontario? Yeah, and he was able to use that coupon, and he went, and they're not supposed to honor it, but he just kind of, like, argued with them, and they did honor it. Because I know someone that worked there, and they said, you're not supposed, like, people aren't supposed to let you do that. That's not how it's supposed to work. But he did, and he got it. For $150? Yep, yeah, he bought, like, six of them. Oh, what? Yep. Six of those systems. Yeah. God. And sold a whole bunch of them. I'm fantasizing just getting one of them. Like, wouldn't that be awesome, though? He probably sold them at a profit. Oh, he did. Oh, boy. Well, he sold a few to his friends for, like, 200 Yeah. And then he sold a bunch online for, like, 250 You'd do well to sell them on Kijiji, though. That's what he did, yeah. Okay. Well, because, like... They were, I think, three fifty on s the the deluxe edition on sale. They were three fifty. That was sweet. You just got a yeah. Shield. I know. <laughs> now we're all set. Magnet shields are awesome. Anyways, what were you saying? But yeah, I I kept telling him like, hey man, like I'll give you the money, just go and do it again. Like, <laughs> I don't know what you said, and you're not telling me what you said to them to let you break the rules, so. Just go and do it. Well, he did. So I didn't get one. Sad days. Yeah, that is. Kinda. And this was like around the time when the hype for Super Smash Bros. was up to At an all time like, high. Ah, oh, I want it so bad. I played Smash Brothers at the Expo in Ottawa, like literally two days after it came out. That, And there was just people swarming to play it. That's how hyped it was. And this was like the smaller convention I'd been to. Well, what's this Smash Bros. game? It's not just like any game. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big deal. It only comes out like once every like five console. or six years. Basically once a console. Yeah, same with every other Nintendo game in general. But with uh, Smash Brothers, it feels special. Because you just... <clears throat> it's not like a specific game that you're waiting for. Like Metroid or Mario or... Uh, uh, you know, just any general Nintendo character. Like, it's everything wrapped into one. Yeah. And, like, it's fun to play by yourself. It's fun to play with friends. I've never even gotten into playing them online just because I've never really had an internet connection that could support it. Yeah, on PEI, anyway. Pain. I've been... That pain, bro. I've been watching a guy... Uh, his channel called Vine Sauce. I've been watching Vinny play him a, play Smash Brothers a lot for Wii U. He gets his ass kicked online a lot. Oh yeah. Well, they, there's people that are competitive players, and they're crazy. there are two gorillas here. That's strange. That's not bad. Girls are sweet. Love girls. And two skunks. Yay. Yeah. Stupid. But yeah, but I've been learning how to play the game just by watching Vinny play. Is he does he like play competitive with tiers and stuff or does he just play? He does play for glory, which is the competitive like type of thing, but oh, he's okay. not very good at it. Oh, okay. Or I should say he's not the best at it. He's 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 like me and you. 
Oh, okay, it's just mostly plays for fun. Yeah. Okay, we've been five minutes in and I haven't found a single key yet. And I lost all my rings. And now I have four gorillas. Sweet. There's a power up in here. Maybe. Actually, no, there might not be. Nope. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm looking to get. Whenever I'm in, uh. In Boxing Day, I'm looking to get Smash Brothers. That's number one priority. And the only thing I'm concerned about is <clears throat> I won't be able to play with the GameCube controller until the accessory for it is restocked. Why don't you buy one online now? I would, but it costs like a hundred and some dollars. What? Because it's, it's out of print right now, so people are selling it oh. on eBay and Amazon for like more dollars than it's worth, which is stupid. Because it's gonna be restocked anyway, because it's it's in demand. It's only like a thirty dollar accessory, isn't it? Yeah, and it's not like Xenoblade, where it's like a really like rare game that just also happens to be an amazing game. That game, I think even today, it's like GameStop restocked it, but it's like worth ninety dollars. What? Just because they know that it's in. That it's a high value game and people want it, so they're yeah. purposely selling it at. Uh, the demand is really high. That's yeah. But I got it when it was just like used regular. I got it for forty-five dollars. I'm so glad I did because <laughs> later on, when I, when I saw like when it was out of print and when it was being sold for three hundred dollars, I was like, what? I was just like, oh man, I'm so glad I bought that game when I did. What the hell? I cannot find a single key. I have to agree with you, Brett. This level's pretty balls. Like, it's just so confusing. Might end up having to reset the level if I can't find any in the next two minutes. Okay, that was weird. I should actually, like, follow my radar. But anyways, I got the secret animal. It's a skeleton dog. See, I found all three chow containers before I found the three keys. That's... Before I found a key. Yeah, a <laughs> key. That's how silly this is. I'm just gonna go back to where I was before. I should probably use those computers so, too. So, for the Wii U, it has USB ports for the adapter? Uh, I think it has a specific port. I don't think it's USB. I'm sure it does have USB ports. But the way it works is you plug it into the USB thing or whatever it is, and then there's like four GameCube slots. Yeah, I'm and looking at it right now. Yeah. Not sold online. From Wally World. <laughs> oh yeah, it's out of print and oh here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, it's out of print. Nineteen ninety nine is Best Buy. Nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents? Yeah. Oh, if only we had Best Buy and PEI. Two more left. Okay, finally I found a key. Sweet. It was behind one of these Eggman statues. So yeah. You you'd probably like to get a Wii U in the near future. Depending. Uh, yeah, I'd love to get one. Because oh. there's also Mario Kart on it. Well, I don't know. I'm kind of happy with my uh, Dex 3DS. Box. Oh yeah, 3DS. Yeah. Like I, I played the heck out of Pokemon. Uh, I think I got through uh, Omega. No, I got Alpha Sapphire. Sorry, I did. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> my brother has told me he got me Omega Ruby for Christmas. He's technically. Well, that's, that's nice that you discussed that. <laughs> well, like. He wants to make sure my mom doesn't buy it, so, you know, you don't want, like, because last year I got both Pokemon X and Y for Christmas, so. Jelly. I was only going to play X, so I just ended up giving Y to my brother, even though he doesn't have a 3DS. I don't know why. I should have, like, given it to you or something. 
someone who would actually play it. So uh, we need to trade after you get it. It was pretty wicked. I was very impressed with the game. Alpha Sapphire? Yeah. Yeah. I, is, is it like the same graphics as X and Y? Different. Different? Right. Similar, but different, I think. Okay. It's 3D, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, they didn't... They don't have a city like... What's that shitty city? In which game? X and Y. I don't remember any of the cities from X and Y. The, the like, central hub city. I don't know. Luminos? Luminos? Oh, Lumino City. It's, there's nothing like that. Yeah, okay. The only real change is uh, Maudville City, the one where the electric gym was. Yeah. It's, uh... It's entirely changed, but not that big a deal. It's kind of cool, actually. Okay, I used three computers to find this key, because I don't want to stay... You're getting close. I don't want to stay on this level for longer than I have to, and we have five, yeah, five gorillas. That's three less than enough. It's closer. Oh, here we go. Oh. Found it. Rats. Come on. Rats. Dude, like, what's, what's the dealio? Is it over here? One more left. Okay, that's kind of... Weird. That's such a like. That's the thing about this game. Like they hide them in the weirdest places. <laughs> I mean, I guess it shows that they have like put care into it, but at the same time, it's just annoying. Why not care for your camera? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm coming across the key already. Did I get a tiger yet? Oh, I did, okay. Don't want to get rid of my five gorillas. That was a near thing, wasn't it? Ah! Lost my shield. Maybe it's up here. Nope. It's a two egg oh. man. What? This is weird. What? These walls don't even look like they can be dug in. Are you serious? It's I like, didn't think you could dig in. Them. It's like concrete. I swear, I've never dug into that wall before. <laughs> that was tough. I'm amazed that wasn't an E. We got a lot of rings though right now. Mm. Can probably get some chow fruit if we were in. Actually, no. We'd be able to get chow fruit if yeah. we went to the 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 kindergarten place first. The black market. Mm. All right, your turn. <sighs> yeah, Chow Kindergarten. So, Let's what's the what we got. what's the good doctor have in store for us? <clears throat> no Chow fruit. <laughs> Worthless. We have to give the other Chows a name too. We can't totally neglect them. I mean, I know you enjoy throwing them around and everything, but... I was thinking we should be teaching... Oh, yeah, um, you can teach them stuff, can you? Well, yeah. Well, how to start doing stuff. Like, how to play an instrument. Yeah, we're, we're, we have to do that in stage select, though, instead of yeah. regular story mode. Might be something we can do when we finish the game. It's we'll not, probably do it off camera. It's not a very long game, anyways. No, we're, like, getting there. We're more than halfway through, easily. Oh, yeah. Just there, then there's like three levels in space, and Knuckles and Rouge's space levels in this game pissed me off. Don't even go there, sister. Cause they're so big, and the gravity. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. Yeah, good luck. Exactly. It is so weird and all over the place, and it's just like impossible. And you'll have like 200 or 300 rings on you, cause you just. Digging so much because you're so bored that you just end up digging all over the place. You get a bunch of animals too, and you'll have 300 rings. Then all of a sudden, a comet comes down from the sky and hits you. I don't know where. Or if you're like just walking around somewhere, a comet will 
land on the ground, explode, and then splash damage makes you lose 300 grades. Let's see, what's what I lose? He didn't lose anything there. No, I lost something on his back. I think. Maybe his tail or wings. Yeah, his tail is a tail. Wake up. Look at how much of a jabroni he looks like. <laughs> He's an ape. An ape named Buddy. Instead of an ape named Ape. That's such a funny movie, George of the Jungle. Mm. Oh dear, I forgot Who's about there? this guy. Oh. What the... A ghost? His tongue looks like... A living, breathing hallucinogen. Like, look at it. Even his eyes are like tripping out. King Boom Boom. <laughs> Doesn't really have the same ring as uh, King Boo from Luigi's Mansion. So, how do I attack? I don't remember how this works. You have to attack that ghost like quick. Punch it. By the way, speaking of Luigi's Mansion, did you ever play Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon? Is that the one for the DS? 3DS. Oh, dig on them, don't I? Yeah. It's on a 3DS. Camera, stop. Now you gotta punch him once. Or twice, if you're lucky. I don't think you'll be that lucky. But yeah, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is on 3DS. I have it. I only got like 10%. Yeah, I played it with um, our house house cleaner's grandson, Harper. I played it with him once, just like co-op. It was the first time I'd done co-op on a 3DS. I found it kind of a weird experience because I never played. Wait, is it like one device co-op? No, two devices. Like, oh, okay, because well, like, no, no. he had a 3DS and I did too. So, yeah. it was weird though because it was like two Luigi's. Walking around doing oh, really? ghost stuff, yeah. Same same thing like in Dead Rising 2 where there's two Chucks playing on co-op. It's really strange. Try running the opposite direction. Boo! Oh. Alright, two more times of this and he's down for the count. I guess technically his body is already down for the count since he's a ghost. Oh, a tip, if you guys are actually playing this, uh, run around the inside of this. Try not to hit the wall, but like always try and go around the inside, because like it makes a world of difference. Oh, dear. Oh, I, I thought you died there. You, you, no, I picked up a coin. Oh, you got that ring just before he hit you with that fireball. All these rings are on the inside. Really okay. Perfect opportunity to hit that ghost. I think that's the only time you can get that uh, hourglass, actually, is whenever he's doing that firewall attack. And I'm pretty sure there's another boss fight after this one. He is a tad bit tedious, isn't he? At least the music's good. Not repetitive at all. <laughs> There's actually a a more up tempo version of this song in the next boss fight. <laughs> Listen to his voice. <laughs> Hurry up and do your ability. He sounds so bizarre. You have to wait. You have to like keep in pace with him. Wait until he does his firewall attack, and then you can speed around. Now, yeah, see, now he's doing it, so you can hit that ghost. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> That's the first time I ever saw that opportunity missed. Really? From from someone else at least. I'm pretty sure I've screwed up a couple times myself. Or get rid of my coin. I'm amazed that Knuckles can run that fast. I find it funny that like Knuckles can run as fast as Sonic. Yeah. Oh shit. I don't see that happening in Sonic Boom, that's for sure. But then again, who knows? I mean, if Knuckles can basically go from being the one, two, three kid to Hulk Hogan, then anything's possible. <laughs> Seriously, like, it's retarded how beefed up his character is in that game. See what I mean? Like, it's... get to a shadow first. Don't worry about jumping. Just like run to it, and then he'll stop moving. Oh dear! It's the camera that messes with me every time. I'm just a big old dirt bag. <laughs> a dirt bag or a derp bag? Dirt. Dirt. Whoa! That was a close one. You seem to be doing all right the other times. Maybe he moves faster every time you hit him. Oops. Well, at first I was worried that I could fall off his head, but I can tell right now that I can't. Okay. All right. Don't, don't jump after him. Just like run towards his silhouette. Don't jump. Oh, you did a spiral upper there. There you go. Gotcha. Yeah! Triumphant! Thank you. Applause from the masses. You want to do the next boss fight or shall I? It's a Sonic one. Doesn't matter to me. Alright. <clears throat> I think we go to space after the next boss fight. I agree. We did it! Let's go, Amy! We did it! <laughs> I'm almost certain they got a 12 year old to voice Tails in this game. With Tails as a guy, don't let them confuse you. <laughs> I remember telling Brett earlier in this playthrough that Tails is a guy. And he, of course, he was shocked because for all this time from, from the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog VHS tapes that we watched up to this game, he always thought that Tails was a girl. Now, I knew Tails was Miles' power, but I still thought it was a girl. And then... Because his voice, or her, its voice is always, like, stupid high. <laughs> and then, like... And the girly attitude as well. And the girly attitude, yes. But aside from that, when I told you that Tails was, in fact, a guy, um... Even though you acknowledge that, later on in the series, you referred to Tails as a girl. Like, you are like, oh, what is she doing? <laughs> he, it was just programmed in your head to think of Tails as a girly girl. So yeah. That's just a funny thing I noticed. Right in the noggin as opposed to the kisser. I wonder what would happen if you ran out of um, platforms to hang out on. Wouldn't be able to complete the boss fight. Yeah, because this headbutt destroys them. I kind of think it's planned out. You do? I kind of understand. There's a bunch of rings down there, but I'm not going to bother getting them. It's a waste of time. Especially after that boss fight that you just dealt with. Yeah, with boss fights, you just want to keep one ring. You don't want to pick oh, up the crap. other crap, no! No! I'm about to eat my own words. If 
I didn't know any better, I'd say that these platforms sticking out of his back are like vertebrae. What did you, you say? God, he must have like a <laughs> huge back a ache. Weird back. Fine. Like whenever he comes out of the ground, he's just like, "All right, who did this?" All right, so thankfully that didn't take quite as long to do. Gotta go fast. He's the fastest thing alive. That was from uh, one of the Sonic the Hedgehog TV shows. Not the one with Scratch and uh, Dozer or whatever that r green robot was. The, the one... <laughs> I remember who Scratch is. I can't remember who the green robot is. I th I'm amazed that you remember Scratch. <laughs> How could I ever forget that laugh? <laughs> I can't do it that high pitched, of course. Is everyone all right? We should be landing oh, no. soon. Pretty sure well, you'd be sure. all be sweat dead. Knuckles. The only thing in the cargo bay are those what do you master mean, emeralds. Don't sweat it. Right? Land the shuttle and let knuckles. me out. <laughs> Everyone's always talking over each other in this game. It's because it was originally made in Japan and they had to find a way to dub the dialogue somehow. So it ends up sounding all convoluted and complicated. With that anyway. Hey, I've shown oh, you the shit. translations for Monster Rancher 2. <laughs> yeah. Huh? It oh, is dude. a straight up, like, you'd think they just Looks dropped like everything into a uh, like translator. Oh, I believe you. It's it's a Tecmo game. If, like, people don't say thanks, they say thank. <laughs> thank. <laughs> thank. I can't see it. <laughs> that is the worst translation. But I, I I believe you. That's like it's the simple little things like that that when you pick up on them and like anything that like as an apostrophe and like things like that. Like they just they just butcher it so much and just you can't help but love it because it's just so dumb. Oh yeah, that's it. Definitely sounds like a Tecmo game. Speaking as someone who's played Dead or Alive a lot and Ninja Gaiden occasionally, like the subtitles in Ninja Gaiden Two, I believe it was, have their fair share of typos. Yeah. But I haven't played that game in a while, so I wouldn't. When did that one come out? Two thousand eight. Okay. And then Ninja Gaiden Three being the shit game that it was, came out four years later. I mean, it had a lot of time to be a good game, but it just ended up being terrible. But Dead or Alive 5 was great. It was a really good game. I hate her. <laughs> there was, like, an advertisement on, like... Nintendo's Nintendo UK, I think it was. Ninten Nintendo of Europe. Nintendo of Europe made like a, a Facebook advertisement uh -huh. where uh, they they were advertising the the Sonic Boom game, Rise of Lyric on the Wii U, and they're saying, "Play as your favorite Sonic the Hedgehog characters and Amy Rose." <laughs> <laughs> Just a little jab towards how much everyone hates her. <laughs> but anyways. That's great. That'll cover this part for now, so in the next part, we're going to play Sonic in space. <laughs> so, next time, next level. Until then, stay tuned.